Aloha. That's what we say where I live in Kona, Hawaii at the University of the Nations. But today we're going to take you to Slovakia. What a beautiful country. I was just there briefly, but I was there this, this past uh, few months. And as we talk about Slovakia, Jesus said we're to disciple all nations. So I have with me a YWAM leader. His name is Ad. Ad. How do you spell that? A-D. Very Just simple. A-D. Just A-D. Oh, you're, you're fortunate to have such a short name. <laughs> yes. And tell me, you're from where? From the Netherlands. You're from the Netherlands. Mm. And your full name? Is De Bruin. Or De, De Bruin. Bruin. <laughs> All right. And so, Ad De Bruin, you, you're married to? Ingela from Sweden. From Sweden. Mm -hmm. This sounds like you're a Wywimmer. Definitely. We met you. in England and then went to Africa before coming to Slovakia. And so how long have you been in Wywim? 31 years now. 31 years. Mm -hmm. Hi, you're catching up with me. Yes. <laughs> and so in doing this, uh, what do you do? Tell me about Slovakia. What's mm -hmm. the population? It's a small country, 5.3 million people, post-communist, of course, and still very much in that mindset. Mm. And, and they are also, uh, what religion are they? Predominantly uh, Roman Catholic, about 70% would say that they belong to that church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and with, with that nation, how are you wanting to disciple that nation, let's say for the area of uh, business? Mm -hmm. Well, we started very simply as YOM, just building relationships and con connecting with different groups, particularly the charismatic renewal within the Catholic Church. And uh, after running many family camps, uh, week-long conferences that we do, I realized we can bring the men of those camps together that are all committed Christians and start something out of that. So that I brought businessmen together and started several groups that way, so meet with them every month and started talking about biblical principles for business. Don't do it all alone, bring in other people that are more experienced in that realm, but together we make it very personal, pray for one another and impact them that way. And many new initiatives have come out as a result of that. Now you've already started in two groups. One mm -hmm. is family. Mm -hmm. So by getting the family, of course, everyone usually has a family. Absolutely, don't they? yes. At least used to have one. Yep. And, and the next step was business. Mm -hmm. And what else did you move toward then? Well, then we realized, you know, if we really want to disciple this nation, we need to get Christians into politics, people that have integrity, that have a good character. So we started looking around and say, how can we do that? And selected some people, uh, brought them together, and we targeted uh, at three levels, national, regional, and local. So the beginning of this year, for instance, we had uh, national elections, but the year before already we started with uh, doing training weekends where we brought some of these people that we knew together that had an interest in politics and set up specific weekends where we brought, uh, uh, brought them principles for kingdom, for government from different uh, aspects, again bringing different organizations together we don't need to do it all alone but it's just the beauty that we can do it together and, and get a variety in there and from that we saw hundreds of people come into local government uh, many of them in regional government, and now we have about 10 committed Christians in the national parliament as well, with whom we meet every month. And so again, we're developing a strategy with them to see how can we increase the number of Christians in parliament to bring from that level change. At the same time, not forgetting that um, because these members of parliament are independent candidates, they need to have a, a body of people behind them that actually votes for them. So we're creating at the same time a grassroots movement of people that are starting to understand we can change our nation and therefore we bring in Christians into, into Parliament. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Notice here he's, he's moved into three different of the seven spheres, three different ones. Mm -hmm. What are you doing about the other four? Well, of course, once you get into politics, you realize how important media is. Uh, just the whole TV and uh, magazines, daily uh, newspapers. And so we started to bring media people together too, both national and locally, both in the area of TV and radio, 
to see how can we strategize and, and uh, develop a new kingdom principle for that too, or, or teach them kingdom principles, and see how can we bring a, chif a shift, a change in the way the media represents uh, what is happening, for instance, in politics, because it's, it's so slanted often that people don't really understand what is going on. And so from there we had to move into media as well. <laughs> Uh, do you have anything for education in mind? Absolutely. I've been meeting with the, um, the chairman of the, what is he, he has an association of all the Christian schools in the nation and uh, starting to talk with him about how can we bring biblical principles in the sphere of education as well. It's going to be a long process, of course, it's very state controlled, uh, the educational system in Slovakia, but we're making the relationships, we're establishing a lot of connections and a lot of it is across churches, meaning Protestant, Catholic, in other ways, just to, to build trust and to build a good understanding. And in the whole process, the beauty is that people starting to realize it's not about my ministry, it's not about my church even, but it's about how can we bring this, this whole nation at the feet of Jesus and, and creating a kingdom mentality. And that's just a beautiful thing to see. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, so, you're actually ministering into the spheres. Did you start a business? No. No? No. Did you start a church? No. No? No. And, and you didn't even start a school? No. <laughs> All right. Well, one thing you can help them with is Global Accreditation Association, uh -huh. led by Dr. Badu, the president emeritus of one of the great uh, science and technology schools in the world. It's mm. in Lausanne, Switzerland. Absolutely. So you can, you can bring that because it has 80 eight of the principles from the Bible uh, for education. Excellent. And so that's a help for you mm -hmm. to give to them, and uh, you're just making connections. You're a Absolutely. good networker. I do my And, and mm -hmm. uh, are you planning anything for the other uh, spheres? Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, uh, arts would be a wonderful thing to see that uh, influence because if you look at the Hebrew word for arts, it is actually the same word for the one who builds faith. Mm -hmm. And so I'd love to see something established there, but at the moment we're pretty busy with what we're doing. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, Celebration will give you arts, entertainment, sports. Exactly. Uh, and so there's a lot to do, but I think, as you understand, you're really plowing the way for YWAM mm -hmm. to understand that role that we have as a servant role. Mm -hmm. Everything you've done is as a servant. Absolutely. You didn't come in over them to rule over them no, no. or to tell them. No. I want to thank you for mm -hmm. who you are, what you have done, but how you're leading the way mm -hmm. for us to get fully involved in all seven spheres. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. for what you've done. Bless God you. bless you. Thank you. And I want you to all know you can do it too. <laughs>